one of the most famous, it's one of the most dangerous Im human impulses is, at, is the, the idea that you can start from scratch. Now, this is, this is an idea that has come up again and again in history. I almost called my book, Blank is Beautiful, because it seemed to be this recurring idea that was at the root of this dream of transformation through disaster, transformation through shock, through violence. And I don't think, you know, that by any means that the right or the, who I, the market fundamentalists have, um, are the only ones who think this way. I think it's the indicator species for a dangerous ideology. Uh, you know, it's, it's the year zero mentality of a Pol Pot or the, the, the desire for uh, blankness, uh, 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 cleaning the slate of, of, of Mao. Uh, but you hear it from the, the Donald Rumsfelds and the Cheneys as well, this idea that you can create a country, a model country in somebody else's land. It's the same dream of, of, of total power, total creation. Um, it's, it's the colonial dream as well. It's, uh, and um, I think we are in denial that this is a deep part of our history here in North America, this dream of starting over, of rebooting the world. It's embedded in some of our most powerful Judeo-Christian biblical myths of the uh, great floods and great fires and just a gang of us and our friends being saved and getting to start over, you know, Noah's Ark and the rapture. I mean, we um, are, we, it's, it's an amazingly seductive idea, this idea that you can reboot the world, start from zero. Um, it's an amazingly anti-human idea, and I think we need to understand that because it can be framed as a really idealistic concept, right? We just, we, you know, we want utopia. That sounds good, uh, and um, we, we know how to build it. Uh, but the, the problem with this dream is, you know, th that people get in the way, right? So then you have to clean the slate. You have to wipe, wipe the slate clean because there are no empty lands. And that was the violence of colonialism. I, I think it's been the most, it's, it's, it is the most powerful, most dangerous idea. It crosses political lines. Um, it crosses religious lines. Uh, and it, you know, it, 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 it is the ideology that has rationalized the great cleansings, the great genocides, um, and we need to identify it as a dangerous ideology. We need to understand it in our history so that we don't repeat it, um, and, you know, and we need to counter it with something else. And in terms of my philosophy, I, I, I try, I've tried sort of developing a philosophy that is the opposite of starting from scratch, which is starting from scrap. Um, because I think this this idea that that we do that, that there will be some moment when we get to start from scratch, we need we need to to excise it. Um, there there are no empty lands, there are no blank slates, there are no clean sheets. There's always going to be people there who disagree with you. You're always going to have to start from compromise. Uh, and um, you know, I, I one time I interviewed William Gibson, who's um, a wonderful science fiction writer, <laughs> or he doesn't only write science fiction. Um, but I was talking to him about science fiction writing, and he he was saying that there's sort of two different kinds of science fiction writers: the people who believe that the future is shiny, and the people who know that the future is rusty, right? Um, and and it's it's the shiny science fiction writers that you have to worry about. Um, and and uh, you know, I I think the future is going to be rusty. I think it's going to be built by you know whoever's around and whatever's left behind, and it'll be this sort of patchwork, and we just we need to resign ourselves to that, that we, you know, we, leave, we leave big messes behind, and, um, and we need to start from scrap and stop dreaming of starting from scratch, because it's, it's a very violent idea, and it sounds wonderful, uh, but the flip side of it, of that clean slate idea is the scorched earth, is, is the scorched earth. We're seeing it in Iraq right now.